The science fair is an age-old means of testing a student's intelligence. But once those students take the level of intelligence up a notch, a lot of pretty amazing things can happen. Just ask East Kentucky Science Fair Director Susan Scott. We encourage science fair research um, from grades 4 through 12th grade. And we um, ask that teachers work with their students to first, um, if you're talking about like a process to get things going, um, have the students come up with an, uh, an interest, like what are they interested in? And we like to tell students and teachers, everything is science, like everything that you, you can look around and point at anything. And, and that's a science fair project. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. In the past couple of years, the number of high school projects submitted have dropped considerably. But for those who are ready to get started now, the incentives could be a game changer. And we walked away with a total of about 13 awards. And the awards range all the way from $75,000. There's two $50,000 prizes. There's a few $10,000 prizes. And then there's like five and three. And then there's scholarships on top of that. So there's like over, there's several I think they said $9 million worth of awards that they're giving out when you're at this international fair. A 16-year-old Lexington student, Grace Sun, walked away last year with the International First Place Award and $75,000. Her project name is complex, but Scott gives us the project in brief. Basically is a current method for um, uh, healthcare that is common, but just not as successful and her her approach was very novel, which uh, that's in her title as well. And she just had some really solid research. And because of how she presented it and her how thorough she was, um, she just knocked it out of the park. We were just ecstatic. For those who want to know more about the science fair or other opportunities or interests, Scott encourages them to visit the Science Center's Facebook page. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.